So another walkthrough. That's not attached, so it's crooked, but it's not not screwed in yet. And the floorboards rough together. So we'll go down this side. Now the step down's very comfortable. Um, what I had to remember is the other side's a little tight, but that frame needs to stay an inch anyways off the off the back there because underneath goes the cable to uh, come up for the steering. And there's the floorboard slightly raised in the uh, pocket where the where the console will be and there'll be cables going underneath it so it's uh, bridging across here and uh, um, I was thinking a battery could sit there but actually the battery will go in the in the back I watched some testing of uh, a guy shifting his battery around um, yeah how, how nice eh? That uh, the spacing worked out really well. I had to trim these just a hair, I think seven and three quarters plus uh, ended up being my width for these planks. And so this was just shy of seven three quarters, so three seven three quarters minus, so that's minus the sixteenth. Um, I think I have it backwards because it's not even on the on the back. The front edge is even, so I, I can turn it and it'll be. But yeah, so there's your feet. Touching down, I have a footrest up here. The cable will go down through the middle, but I still can probably use that footrest so you can actually sit back and recline. So I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, so what I'll do is uh, the cable will be on a drum and it'll cross to the varying um, pulleys that will be set up on the base there. That way it's very narrow in through there. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I'm liking. So this is, uh, just repeat a little bit for those who don't watch on a regular basis. This is a leftover from, um, from an old cedar deck, which I ran through the planer. And I had to be selective because there were cracks and rots and loose knots. And, you know, a sound knot is fine. I'm, I'm okay with knotty wood as long as it's not a black ring knot. So... Some have a bit of a black ring, but they're, they're, they're connected with red. So they are solid uh, overall. I pick boards that, uh, you know, try to work around defects, so they're not perfect. So I plan to antique it. You can see some screw um, nail heads and so forth that, uh, you know, don't go down to a cleat or anything. Those are the old um, deck positions or frame positions when it was a deck. But I'll, I'll go through and... Um, antique this so it looks like it's been trotted on by you know a hundred years worth of boating so make her look like an antique boat pretty much <laughs> yeah oh yeah so i was wondering how am i going to i was going to add another another set of frames underneath here to extend on beyond but no that, that's pretty you know it, it can slide a little bit there but it slides up the hill all i got to do is glue a little stopper in in the back corner and, and then that's all set Then that won't go anywhere um, but it can be lifted out if need be so yeah I'm pleased with that hmm, hmm, hmm. okay okay well that's today's work so I it was easier doing these sides because all I did was uh, take a mirror image of the uh, frames on the opposite side and then I laid the boards in and shifted my frames around to make sure that they were um, uh, supporting the ends and I even trimmed off the end accordingly and did a neater job of it actually because I was, uh, you know, didn't really know what uh, I was doing in the first one. Well, I know what I'm doing, but the point is you don't know where to stop, so you keep running in and out of the boat. So this side was hard work and sweaty work, running back and forth. Questions off center, get back here a bit. And this size was easy breezy. In fact, I pretty much um, quick assembled them as I as I screwed them together almost. Yeah, got got really good. Okay.